There's major scandals with every Pokemon Go Fest. Niantic always finds a way to screw things up. I will say the first one's still my favorite though. Watching that disaster unfold was poetry, capped off by them rigging the event. Beautiful. However, we got some other problems going on in the world right now, so Pokemon Go Fest is coming home. They can't possibly screw that up, right? Well, maybe with some false advertising. So, I was thinking about participating in Pokemon Go Fest because I got super addicted to Pokemon Go for the first time when I played it two years ago. I was on a cruise, we docked in San Francisco for two days, and playing at Pier 39 was like the most godly gaming experience ever. I went from level 1 to level 20 on the first day, and it was just non-stop Pokemon fun. I had a Pokemon Go Plus, and it was just like, catching Pokemon is awesome. And then I became a rural player, and Pokemon Go was crap. So I was looking at Pokemon Go Fest, I'm like, yo, if I can get the city experience from my home for just a couple of days, and also all the other cool things. I don't have raids or special events, I don't have any ability to do the event missions and stuff, or all the other rewards and crazy things they talk about. But if that can get handed to me for 15 bucks, that sounds awesome, and that's really what the trailers make it feel like. You know, Pokemon Go Fest is going virtual. They just straight up have the Pokemon inside the people's homes and just showing like, oh, if you're just doing normal home stuff in your home, Pokemon are just going to be everywhere because that's what this Pokemon Go Fest is going to be about. No restrictions, no limits, have fun from home. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. And then there was also another thing that came from the Pokemon Go Japan Twitter, and it kind of shows the same thing. You're at work, you're just living your life, you're not out running around, you're not out hunting Pokemon, you're just playing from the comfort of your own home, and it seems like it's better than ever. But this is where I said, there might be some false- Like, look at that! That little girl's actually playing in the little blow-up pool that you'd get set up at your house when you're just trying to get some budget fun- summer fun going on, and then the whole world is having a blast with Pokemon Go Fest 2020! Well, this is where I feel like the false advertising comes into play, because I scroll down to the bottom, there aren't many gems, Pokestops, Pokemon nearby, will this affect my experience? For Pokemon Go Fest ticket holders, incense will be extra effective at attracting Pokemon. We recommend using incense throughout the event. It's always something. You're not allowed to have bags, you can't get into the gates, people just straight up getting scammed one way or another, the cell tower's going down, or you have to pay for incense on top of paying for your entry into the event. They're not bringing Pokemon Go Fest to you. They're not bringing that Pokemon Go Fest event. It's not like you're actually at the Pokemon Go Fest in person and then just getting all the kinds of crazy rewards. No, they're just enhancing your experience and then calling it Pokemon Go Fest. You still have to like go out and do things, but some people, they can't go out and do things because of the issues going on in the world right now. And in many areas, unnecessary recreation is frowned upon, parks are closed, or some of like the very popular areas where you might have a Pokestop or gym, they're just not going to be accessible or there's going to be restrictions around them. So you know what Niantic says? Buy incense. That the GoFest ticket doesn't provide you an infinite incense or like constant spawning Pokemon, which is what you would expect when you see that people are just straight up playing from home. That's backyard. That's in the house. That's that's what you'd expect. In the bedroom. That's like, oh, I don't have to go anywhere, and then I'm just gonna have like all these rare Pokemon spawns and all these rare Pokemon environments come to me. But you also need incense to make it happen. And if you don't live anywhere near Pokestop, it's not like you can also apply lures to them and then, or other people could like be generous and then like whale some lures for you guys and then you still get all of that Pokemon Go Fest fun. So I mean, that, that's kind of shitty, right? Now they do say, additionally, incense activated during event hours will last for one hour each. And there is a set time for the event hours. So you're only going to be using 10 incense per day over two days. So 20 incense to get a good amount of interaction with the Pokemon Go Fest 2020. And I think the average player isn't going to be like 10 hours a day over the two days. But I know there's going to be a lot of players that are going to try to make the most of this. Especially if they've never been able to make it to a Pokemon Go Fest and engage in the full enhanced experience and like all the other bonuses and really cool and rare Pokemon all that other stuff going on so yeah that seems like it's gonna be all right not terrible but also not the best if you're unable to complete Pokemon Go Fest special research during the Go Fest event don't worry special research does not expire so you do not need to finish the task during the event weekend 
And I'm not sure how to feel about that because yeah, it's really cool that you just have the special research forever until you finish it as long as you buy the ticket. But it also makes it sound like they're not going to be doing enough to enhance the spawns for people in rural areas. So if you buy this thinking you're getting the Pokemon Go Fest experience, you're not. You're paying $15 for a little bit of extra stuff and yeah. So they're also preloading this with the anticipation that not enough is going to be going on for people to actually finish it within the time frame. But at least you're not going to be penalized for not finishing it. It just it just kind of seems like I think there's going to be a lot of disappointment here. However, this is where I want to turn the video onto you guys, the Pokemon Go players, because I'm the outsider looking in. I'm the person with a passing interest that's opened it up a couple of times when I'm in an opportunistic area to do a little bit of Pokemon catching and have some fun, but people that have been playing Pokemon Go, they've already adapted. That there's a play where you are adaptation. That This isn't just like, oh, Pokemon Go Fest is the one thing Pokemon Go is doing to kind of adjust to what's happening in the world right now. No, it's actually just been like this for a while, so people are probably familiar with the climate and familiar to what's going on. Incense has already been buffed, so there's, you know, incense bonuses that might be going on. They're discounted in the shop, so yeah, um, during some events, incense will attract certain Pokemon. Be sure to check the in-app news for the latest, and it lasts for one hour in general, and then is available at a discount. So using incense has been buffed outside of Pokemon Go Fest, and for people that aren't able to get too much of a reach out into the world to go and hunt down and track Pokemon, they're still able to play at an elevated rate. Also, there's a special incense that gives you at least one Pokemon spawn per day, so it's just kind of worth it opening up the app and then getting the few passing Pokemon on top of that. And if you pop an incense, everything is pretty good. And then they've just been doing all kinds of things. You still have gifts, so you can do more gifting at this point. Number of gifts you can open daily is increased to 30. Number of gifts you can carry is increased to 20. Also have more Pokeballs and stuff like that. It's also looking at like the contents. I mean, you still get a good amount of stuff. Now it would have been really cool if there was like a rare chance of getting incense inside of gifts so you can maybe stack it up and get something out of it. Also, I was looking into how you actually get incense. So starting from trainer level five, Every five levels, the player receives a number of instances for leveling up, and then you also get one at level seven. Now, this isn't going to be enough to get you through the entire event, but it will help kind of supplement that because it means you only have to spend like $5 and then you get the bonus instances and then you can just kind of keep stacking them up. Or maybe you won't have to spend as much because if you're, if you're kind of like on that outside looking in, you're a kind of struggling player or your player that doesn't have a lot of resources want to kind of get a big boost from Pokemon Go Fest, you're going to get a lot of levels off of this, even without too much incense, so it might be enough to just kind of like get you from one incense to the next or something like that. And then for March 12th onward, in response to the pandemic, one-time purchase special box containing 30 incenses was available for one Pokecoin. Now, I don't see that box in my shop anymore, so I guess they discontinued that, which is kind of sketchy to me. That they wanted everyone to have the full Pokemon Go Fest kind of experience, they should have just kept that available. But nah, seems like there's too much money on the table between the $15 and the $5 that everyone's going to have to pay if they don't have the incenses, or maybe people burn through them, so that's just going to upset people. Like, oh, I used my 30 incense because I'm forced to play from home. And I could have saved it to be get better forced to play from home with the Pokemon Go Fest event. Also, think about something they could have done to make the pass even better. is like give you a personal Pokestop. That, you know, if you bought the ticket, then you get to, you know, spin it maybe every 15 minutes. And then you can get additional items. So it makes it feel like you're at Pokemon Go Fest where they have like the special Pokestops kind of set up. It doesn't seem like they're doing enough when they could make this like kind of the greatest event ever. And since they're leaving these holes in it, it could get really disastrous, like we've seen in the past Pokemon Go Fests. But the overall buff to incense, that seems perfectly fine by me. And then they have stickers, they're also adding features just so everyone can kind of get through this together, which really isn't that bad. And then I opened up my Pokemon Go app because I wanted to see what was going on, and I have 26 incense. Now, this is like from leveling up, I guess, and just kind of playing normally and I've never really had an urge or a need to use incense so if you've just kind of played any amount and you haven't been wasteful with your incense I don't even have to spend any money 
well, except for the $15 on the ticket. But if I get that, I can just keep 20 incense running the entire time, and I'll still get a decent amount of Pokemon. Now, it's not going to be as much as if I was active. You know, there's still going to be people that probably, like, hyper-capitalize on the Pokemon Go Fest by actually going out to parks, having all Pokestops. Maybe they're already in a city, and it's just going to be way better for them. So people will get more mileage out of this. And that's kind of disappointing as well, because I was expecting, you know, this From Home Pokemon Go Fest just be, like, a great equalizer, like the trailers suggest. That's what, like, that's what gets me. It's like, this, I think, is where the problems are going to come in. Again, unless the Pokemon Go players are, like, expecting it to not be this crazy. But if the Pokemon Go players are thinking, like, wait a second. I didn't know the website actually says that you need incense along with the pass to make Pokemon Go Fest work. You know, this, this does seem a little sketchy. This does seem where I feel a scandal is boiling up when, if this is disappointing from home. Like, the entire fest kind of ends up being disappointing. they would be like, but... But it looks so much fun on the website, and you know, like that's in someone's backyard. And then there was they were just in the house, and a Pikachu appeared. Seventy-five species of Pokemon will be appearing during Go Fest in the wild, in raids, and as special research encounters. We have the global challenge. So yeah, like you have time for the special research. You got a virtual lounge. You get some like gift fun stuff going on. And I think that's also like really nice. We have like the global challenges that you get things and there's going to be better bonuses and it's going to be like pokemon go fest so there are going to be those benefits but at the same time i think i think there's some sketch going on however it also isn't horrible in another way like somehow i have a thousand poke coins and this isn't from like gyms or anything i think i might have bought like 20 or 30 dollars when i was playing san francisco and i bu only bought like a couple hundred pokemon boxes that might be it, because I remember that. I remember I, I caught so many Pokemon in such a short amount of time, I had to buy the extension, uh, the Pokemon storage upgrade, maybe an item bag upgrade as well, because I was getting so many gifts. And that's another thing, like, the gift exchange just probably seems good. You go on, like, Reddit, you join Discord, and you just get, like, an absurd amount of gifts, and then you can just kind of kick it up and start up. That's another reason I got so much experience, was I just open up gifts, and now my bag is actually full. 353 out of 350 items. Which ones do I delete, guys? I'm just playing from home. I probably don't need hyper potions and revives too much, right? I've just been hoarding Pokeballs for my Pokemon Go Plus. Great Ball, Ultra Ball, some lore modules. This is just from, like, playing the game. And apparently I got a King's Rock from probably a gift at some point. I still have a lot of gifts to give away. Where are those? Yeah, 10 gifts. So, I mean, it just sounds like even if you don't have too much experience with this game you can still get enough resources to make Pokemon Go Fest work for you. I can't even claim my daily free box because I don't even have enough space. So, I mean, yeah, you can just start collecting free boxes now until then. So you get the ticket, and then this was also something. You get 8 incense for 250 Pokecoins. So, you can buy 16 plus the 40, so you can get 17 incense, which is pretty much enough to last you throughout the entire event for 5 bucks. So we got this right here, the 550 Poke Coins. Yeah, five bucks, 500 plus the 40. You're left with 10 Poke Coins after that. And yeah, if you just kind of like do gym things or whatever, I don't think I've like earned any Poke Coins in game, but also like the hyper rural players that don't even have gems to defend or they're so far behind that they can't even like get Poke Coins because everyone else is so far ahead of them, something like that. Either way, like it's not the worst. So instead of it being like a $15 event, it's like a $30 event for two days of just like a blast. And that does seem like a lot for a two-day season pass, effectively, or something like that. So, I mean, if it goes good, if it ends up working out, I don't see too much of a problem here. Also, it does look like people are just going to have lots of natural incense. Niantic does seem to be adapting to the problems that we're experiencing right now pretty decently. I still feel like this this seems unnecessarily greedy or like why can't we just have Pokemon Go from home unrestricted for just two days for just 20 hours over a weekend with everything going on and just finally bring it to the players and also maybe making a good catch-up mechanic like people that are already maxed out they're not going to get too much more ahead by having some kind of like crazy overtuned event for a brief amount of time this is where the world should come together and just play and have like some Pokemon experience and then just kind of give the struggling players, like, the most over-crazy-tuned buff at this point to keep the game alive. But like I said, since I've been playing, is that not even representative of how it is? Like, existing Pokemon Go players, people that are more established. You guys still playing? You guys not having too many problems? Or are you also upset about this as well? Either way, fishy things happening, 
but I don't think it's terrible, like, as bad as my initial gut reaction was. Because I looked into it, I, I opened up my game, I'm like, oh, I have Pokecoins, I have enough incense, and I have too many items. So I guess it would be a good way to burn through all that, and I'd effectively just be playing $15 for most of an experience. Alright, that seems fair, right? I don't know. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.